The overall goal of this procedure is to accurately quantify mycotoxin biosynthesis, sporulation, and growth in order to study molecular seed-fungal interactions. This is accomplished by first setting up a kernel bioassay. Next, conidia are enumerated. Then, mycotoxins are quantified. Finally, the fungal biomass is measured. Ultimately, results can be obtained that show the effects of seed physiology on the reproduction, development, and secondary metabolism of mycotoxigenic fungi through the quantification of conidia, biomass, and secondary metabolites using spore enumeration techniques coupled with high-performance liquid chromatography. The main advantage of propagating this technique is to standardize methods across multiple labs so results from different laboratories can be cross-interpreted. This method can help answer key questions in the field of molecular seed-microbe interactions, such as the mode by which pathogenic fungi hijack plant lipid metabolism as a virulent strategy. Generally, individuals new to this method may struggle because different strains of fungi exhibit different growth and developmental patterns. So it is imperative that you optimize the conditions for your favorite fungal seed interaction. Two weeks prior to performing the maize kernel bioassay, culture the fungal pathogens on potato dextrose agar, or PDA, at 28 degrees Celsius. When ready to begin, select kernels similar in age, shape, and size, and place them in 50 milliliter tubes. Surface sterilize the kernels by adding 70% ethanol and shaking the tubes at room temperature for 5 minutes. Next, shake with